plus diary of a would-be terrorist. Sources say the 19-year-old who attacked three New York police officers with a machete on New Year's Eve wrote he wanted to become a Taliban martyr. A new this morning story we're following closely. CNN has learned that the suspect accused of attacking three NYPD officers on New Year's Eve was interviewed by the FBI in mid-December and then placed on a terrorist watch list. All of this after his family became increasingly concerned about his desire to travel to Afghanistan and join the Taliban, what this could all mean, particularly as he awaits charges. And just in, we're learning the suspect in the machete attack on NYPD officers in Times Square was interviewed by the FBI last month and had been on a terror watch list. That is according to our very own John Miller. More on that straight ahead. Busy day mm -hmm. on this Monday, the first Monday of the new year. New details for you about the 19-year-old suspect who's accused of attacking three NYPD officers in Times Square on New Year's Eve. We're just learning now that he was interviewed by the FBI also on a terrorist watch list. Officials say in his diary he detailed a desire to join the Taliban and to die a martyr. And we have just heard from law enforcement sources, as you mentioned, that he was interviewed by officers with the FBI in Maine after he expressed his desire to travel to Afghanistan and join the Taliban. He also expressed his willingness to die for his religion. He struck a police officer with that machete on the head. Then he struck a second officer. Then a third officer that was on the scene fired his service weapon, injuring him. Not only had he been interviewed by the FBI before, he was on a terrorist watch list. The latest details about the man accused of attacking three NYPD officers with a machete on New Year's Eve. And it's been some time since you and I talked, Andy, about the threat yeah. of uh, radicalization, Islamist ra radicalization, something along those lines. But it is almost impossible to defeat an ideology. Yeah. And even one that is as toxic and violent as uh, radical uh, uh, Islamic extremism. And we know that from, whether it's the context of the Taliban or Al Qaeda or ISIS, it's the same sort of thing. It infects predominantly young males and it drives them, it can drive them to act out individually as what we refer to as lone offenders in whatever country they're in. So yeah. this threat is still around us. It's still very real, it's still very dangerous. We just don't talk about it as much. It's been eclipsed in the news, but it has not gone away. No.